The iPad has never been great at handling iPhone app scaling. For instance, when you run an iPhone native app on the iPad, you have an option to blow it up to 2x mode to increase the size, but it always looks really, really blurry when you do that. For that reason, tweaks like RetinaPad by Ryan Petrick came along and they smoothed it out because it used the Retina assets for the iPhone app instead, and that resulted in a smoother picture, better looking app, even when scaled up. Now, this is what it looks like on iOS 6. This is a, an iPhone native app running in 2X mode on iOS 6 on the iPad. And you can see it's kind of blurry. Look at the uh, buttons, the uh, text. It's, it's kind of blurry looking. And it's certainly not something that you want to use if you can help it at all. So usually only in last resort uh, scenarios do, was somebody even opt to even think about using an iPhone app on the iPad just because it looks that ugly. And you see you can scale it back down to 1x if you want to do that using a little button in the bottom right hand corner. Now the question is, how does scaling perform on iOS 7 Beta 3? That is the question. And that's the reason why we're doing this comparison because it's improved significantly as I'll show you right here. Here is iOS 7 Beta 3 on an iPad and I'm going to open up the speed test app and it, as you'll notice, it automatically scales up. There is no 2X mode button. It automatically scales up and you can see all the um, assets are 2X assets. They are much sharper. Everything is just much more clear, easy to read, and more appealing to the eye. So this is the new and improved updated scaling in iOS 7 Beta 3. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.